Thursday um, and I am in my car just chilling um, and I just wanted to turn on the camera to talk to you guys um yeah so my day is going okay um, just for the simple fact that um, this morning I went to take out my Selena book that I have been slacking on reading um, because I wanted to read it while I'm giving my uh, co-workers breaks and it came to my reality excuse me that my book got ruined like the whole like remember when I showed you guys how the book looked like well now it looks 10 times worse there's like really bad right here really bad right here and it's crappy on the back like I'm so ticked it's like I want to throw it away and get a new one but I, I got this for free so can't really do that but I am going to get the hard copy for sure um yeah, so my day's going all right. It's not too bad. Um, I actually get to see John Wick Chapter 3 today. Um, so I'm pretty excited that for that. Um, I'm going to go home and take a shower and get ready for that. Um, it's a little deep, deep. And I'll let you guys know as to how that goes. We're actually going to a different movie theater um, than where we usually go. So that should be really interesting. Um, my hope experience is fun. Um, but, yeah. Let's see, is there anything else I want to talk to you guys about? Hmm. I don't know. I'm sure there's something I will think about. Um, but give me just one second, I actually have to do something. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Hold on, let me check what time it is. Let me check what time it is. I'll be done in time. Anywho, so, um, I actually just remembered what I could talk to you guys about. Um, I was on Twitter, and there was, if you guys don't know what my Twitter is, I'll put it somewhere on here. Um, you guys go follow me. Um, on there I tweet. I retweet a lot, so, I don't know, it's just, I like what people say on there, just, you know. I sometimes post, but go follow me, I'll put it on here somewhere so you guys can, sometimes I even ask. Um, what you guys would like to watch, so you can always let me know and uh, be back there. Um, but anyway, so let's get back to what I was seeing. So there's been two things really trendy this month, um, in particular. One was like I think around the beginning of month, the month, and one's been like about two, three days ago. Um, let me talk about the very first one. Um, it was I think on May eighth. Um, there is this Mexican Mexican singer. He was probably learned, born in late. 50s I don't know I want to say around the late 50s late 60s his name is Vicente Fernandez um and he sings mariachi if you know what that is um he sings love songs like Mexican love songs but it's like way back then music like not really like now era so yeah so he's more into that and he does um Oh, do, I don't even know what it's called, but he gets on horses, and um, they switch up, get on the cattle, get cows and stuff. I forget what that's called, but yeah, he does that. So he's known for that in singing. Um, he also has kids that people that also are in the music industry. So I mean, he's huge. If you're Mexican, you know who I'm talking about. He's like a big iconic. Um, oh, excuse me, icon in the Mexican Mexican singing industry so but anyway so i don't know what is wrong with him but i guess he has some health problems right and his liver is going given out like it's in like critical condition i guess so he, he needs a transplant and um i guess um i'll put it somewhere on here, on here if i can find it um the quote that he said he does not want a liver if it is from a drug addict which is understandable or if it came from someone gay. Now, 
now listen, Vicente. I personally <laughs> did not know that being gay comes out of your liver. I, I didn't know that. It is so wrong of you to think or to not even want a liver that is a part of the LGBTQ family. family. Like, that is so wrong of you. Like, since when does it make a difference for you getting a liver from someone straight than someone gay? Like, so you just rather die. That's what you're saying. Stuff like that ticks me off. Because it doesn't make a difference. Like, it's like basically saying you would refuse you would refuse a blood transfer transplant blood tra transfusion, excuse me, from someone that you would refuse from someone gay just because they're gay, just because of what they personally desire than someone straight. It's just Okay, when I seen this, I was just like, wow. Talk about losing fans, like, to another level. Like, that is just so, he's so ignorant for that. And I'm sorry to the LGBTQ fam family that got upset over this. But you know what? If you were a fan of him, this just shows his true colors. <laughs> Some people even tweeted that he might as, been, might as well been in Coco, the movie, if you've seen it, Ernesto de la Cruz, the one, you know, the bad guy in Coco. And I agree. He should have been that. He does the same thing, and he's the bad one in the movie. He's the bad one in real life. Like, that's just so messed up. I don't even... I don't, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I just know he's wrong for that, and he'd rather die. Um, the second thing <laughs> on Twitter that was trendy was when a couple days ago two three days ago um arthur is a, a kids cartoon that came out in 1996 that continues to air new episodes which i didn't know i used to watch that growing up it's usually it's it's about it's about animals but they have names that go to school but the main character is arthur and Ar it's arthur and his family dw is in it which is his sister that drives him nuts and his little sister other little sister he probably doesn't have another little sister maybe i'm just making that up but he does for sure have a mom and dad and then he has a couple of friends like four or five friends that are really in the arthur one of them is buster that's the only one i can remember uh i can't remember the other ones but anyway there's his friends and then he goes to school and his teacher's mr ratburn one of them is at least um with those kids um but basically what this episode is that Sorry, I was staring at myself. <laughs> Basically, is that the kids think that... The, uh, so, Mr. Ratburn, his teacher, is getting married. And they want to stop this um, wedding because they because they think Mr. Ratburn, their teacher, is getting married to someone, to a stranger. So, they're stopping it, trying to figure it out. This is all I know due to the snippet that I saw yesterday. And um, they came to find out that he's actually ma marrying someone... If of the same sex, um, in the, in the movie, in the cartoon, um, and they were actually happy for him and yada, yada, yada. Now that is iconic. I, ever since it's been legally in most states to marry someone of the same sex, I've noticed a lot of TV shows, cartoons. I don't know, has been showing it more on TV. Some stations, TV stations like PBS, actually back 15 years ago, Arthur did the same thing with um, lesbian parents. And they PBS banned Arthur. So, um, this is the second time they're doing it, I guess. Um, but I think it's just so iconic because, I mean, like I said, ever since they've been allowing same-sex marriages to happen in most states... They've been um, posting it out in movies and cartoons and stuff. They even said, I don't know if you guys knew, but Frozen 2, Elsa was supposed to come out gay. So instead of her finding her for Prince Charming, 
she was gonna come out gay. So, and they a lot of people. I remember that it was this was last year towards the end of last year. They said that they are not gonna let their kids see it. Their kids shouldn't see that. Um, there's people that say it's cool to be LGBTQ, but I just feel like they shouldn't push it on TV. Kind of let a kid be a kid. Um, and I completely agree with that too. Absolutely. I mean, but everyone has a point of view. Let me know down in the comments um, what you guys feel about these two trendy Twitter, two things on Twitter. <laughs> um, also about Frozen 2, which it was last year. Um, I think, in my personal opinion, that it's cool that they're making this. I mean, I think it's something that we're just going to have to accept the fact regardless. Like, for sure. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I need to get caught up on this book, you guys. I've been slipping i'm just so upset about this book like it really got ruined can i try to wipe it off with some wipes i was able to re save some of it but i need to get back on reading this i haven't read it in a while now i've told you guys what has happened and i've done so many vlogs already oh yeah right i've barely done it <laughs> but yeah i kind of really want to Get back to reading it. I am gonna get the hard copy though, and in English. Because remember, I told you guys this is in Spanish, so so that way I'm understanding more in depth as to what I'm reading. Um. So yeah, let me see what time it is. Just give me one second. Okay, sorry about that, guys. It's 2:45. So I've been on break for 40 minutes. So I bet I have like 20 minutes left. As you guys can tell, I'm like so hot. It is actually really hot. It's like 80 probably degrees out today. But like the past two days, it's been chilly. But I will definitely do this on Monday if we do it. So yesterday, um, my um, twin brother and his girlfriend and my boyfriend, we all went to go play basketball. We had we played 21, well up to 21 um, in teams. And y'all would guess who won? We won. We won. We won. <laughs> it was, I forget, it was like 16 to 21, obviously. Was it 16 or 18? I forget. But they were really close in winning. And then after that, we went to Donato's and we went and ate pizza. Boy, we were starving. My mom came and showed up to us, like with us, after she got off work. And, um,. I was like, wow, you guys devoured that pizza. Uh, yeah, we were hungry and we we were just ready to eat. We had already played basketball. I was I was sort of sore this morning. Um, I don't know, like right here, something on my back, somehow on my back. I don't know, but it was a really really cool game. I really enjoyed yesterday. Um, I really hope we could do it again. Uh, maybe on Monday. That'd be nice. And watch with our luck. It's going to rain probably. It's not going to be like, a good day. <sighs> oh, yeah, guys. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, and today I get to go to the movies with Bay. We go see John Wick, the third one. Chapter 3, I think is what it's called. I'm so excited to watch that. Like, I think I'm waiting for forever. I wanted to watch Avengers, but we have this gift card, right? Where we can get the movies for free. Oh my god, we can't find that card for nothing. And we've been wanting to go, so. <sighs> There's so many things we want to do. We want to go to the zoo. We want to go to Cincinnati. We want to watch this movie. Like, oh, There's so much to do. Do you ever just think that you just don't have that much enough money to do everything? I do, but I just... every And then the bills are coming up. Ugh, so annoyed. Oh, I just don't understand it. I really don't. I'm really hot. <laughs> oh, you're just watching these birds eat these worms. But anyway, guys, I've done this video long enough. I haven't. I'm just talking to myself. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know it's boring. Sitting in my car is probably the boringest thing. But you know, next time I'm with my brother, twin brother. And his girlfriend and my boyfriend and we play another game. I will definitely be vlogging that. So, I'm excited for that. Um, and then, um, 
I'll let you guys know once I pick up this book again. Let you guys know how I'm doing with this book. How she's doing, you know. But, yeah. So, I'll let you guys know about that. And, I'll give you guys my review about John Wick. <laughs> so stay on the lookout for the next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day today. I love you guys. Mwah. God bless. Bye.